All right, so we need to talk about biopolymers. And I think biopolymers, the, the beauty of biopolymers is best understood by looking first at synthetic polymers. So what have we seen in synthetic polymers? Well, these mostly come from um, addition reactions. Uh, we do have some condensation polymers. But I would say the bulk of the polymers that we encounter are addition polymers. And maybe you could argue that with me, but addition polymers are extremely prevalent. What are the properties of synthetic polymers? They tend to be durable. Um, you know, they, they have some strength. They tend to be lightweight. In a lot of ways, uh, using polymers and plastics has replaced things like glass, you know, which is, tends to be... Uh, easily shattered or using metal products um, which tend to be more expensive um, and synthetic polymers also are, are chemically fairly inert and that leads to good properties. Um, glass is inert and we can store food in glass but if you make polymers inert you can then store food in plastics and maybe this isn't perfect but that is ultimately the goal of many plastics. These qualities lead to some problems and the fact is synthetic polymers are pretty hard they're hard to recycle and um, it tends to be a fairly energy intensive process we have to remelt the material and remold it and it's just it, it's a problem but it's not a surprise that it's a problem because you know our goal was to make these things inert and durable and uh, when things are inert and durable they're hard to reform into new stuff so that's kind of where synthetic polymers stand now let's look at biopolymers. Biopolymers are taken exclusively from the condensation polymer branch of chemistry. So these are all condensation problem, uh, polymers. Biopolymers, they're used for, they're not used necessarily to store things like we do with our synthetic polymers, but they're, they're actually used for information storage. Not exclusively, but information storage, um, maybe energy storage, thinking of things like glycogen, which is a biopolymer. Um, the great thing about biopolymers is they are very easily recycled in the body. <clears throat> now, I don't mean simply taking a polymer and reshaping it into something new and, and giving that a new use. I'm talking... Biopolymers can be recycled down to the monomer level. So bio monomer, I think there's supposed to be an M in there, monomer level. So biopolymers can actually be unzipped into their original monomers, and those monomers can be reused in other completely different polymers. So this is a really important aspect, that a feature of biopolymers. And um, you know, it really just goes back to the, to the elegance of the design of biological systems that with enzymes you can put together po these biopolymers and you can unzip the biopolymers. And that's a, a huge advantage that biological systems have over the synthetic systems.